15th in the Rolex rankings. Figures to move up this week, maybe into the top 15. And that would put her in position as we watch Ryan O'Toole, top tracer technology presented by Progressive Insurance. She had a share of the lead earlier. After an eagle at the seven, nine, and wound up making bogey. So understandable that she went a little deep there. Here's O'Toole to get within one. Could she? An UCLA Bruin herself like Allison Lee. With a good birdie at the seventh and then just some solid pars. She said yesterday she was going to be more than happy with par on every hole in these conditions. And if you happen to sneak in a birdie or two, bonus. 142 yards pulling out a hybrid this plane at least 162 if not closer to 170. She's very good with these lofted woods. With the wind. It's tough because it could have a tendency to bounce as hard as you have to hit this putt through the fringe. It's not the easiest to judge. And just two completely different ways to get it done right here. You have Nelly choosing to chip from one inch off the green and GA putt from about 30 feet. Eyes outside the ball. Typically over or just inside is a better place to putt from, but it sure works for Chia Shin. When she played and dominated the LPGA Tour, she can barely see the golf ball here. But she's got such a vertical golf swing that she would be able to get down to the ball better than most. Oh, that was better than most. And Nelly from the rough onto the grease. Now Nelly has this to tie the lead at 12. So. Oh, she steals one from the rough, Morgan. Yeah, she has made that's a lot of work for the caddy, K. Taking care of all those head covers. We sometimes joke that's a forest. Well, she struck that pretty well. The wind pushing it slightly to the right, but good for distance there. Well, you take that today. 26% of the field hitting the green here. In round one, it was 64%. So that gives you... Very good three. Player who spent 25 weeks at the top of the Rolex Women's World Rankings. Allison Lee trying to bounce back from the bogey at 11. a seven iron it's also on a good line if it's enough yeah, that was a really clean looking swing not a lot of excess moving parts well done yeah a really good opportunity from below the hole not a terrible amount of break easy pars stress-free pars aren't going to hurt you some stress for GA. Tight draw up the right side. Get it to kick left into the bottom of the valley. She eagled this hole earlier in the week after a, an interesting rule situation. But that, yeah. Place some 20 yards up the hill from where she's standing to this green. A little backstop there should hold the golf ball in on the green. Oh, yes. Nelly's going to have that for Eagle to add to her lead. Playing this, playing for a good bit of left to right break. Almost going to come in the side of the hole here. Uh huh. Nelly leading by three. Allison Lee pitched one in yesterday for birdie. This is an eagle attempt. Looked like she was trying to hold that one. She'll have it for birdie. Yeah, she's playing a ton of break here. Just trying to drip something in. Oh, the wind got that at the very end. Absolutely. 
that looked like that was going to for sure catch that top side of the hole. And just a huge gust of wind blew that to the right. To get within one. Wow, there's, there's still a good 10 players in the picture here, Grant. Look out for Charlie. She's just one back. And if we've learned anything over the weekend. Tied for second at the moment. Let's go to the tee at the 17th. Ryan O'Toole. Oh, that's an aggressive line. Wow, that's a good shot. We've seen a lot of players. Nelly Corda. Fairway tilts right to left. Trying, taking this down the down green side. Just, there's not much more beautiful than watching Nelly Corda just send a driver. A lot of mental strength, which, which we know Roning has, but at, on a tough day to play like today, it makes it harder. Andrea Lee coming back for par. Really nice day, 68. So that's tied for the lowest round of the day so far. Is it too late for Jasmine Sawanapura? That takes her to eight under par and a share of third, 17. Yeah, it's been a good start to the year for Sarah Schmalzel. Finished eighth in Singapore. She was a runner-up to Bailey Tardy in China a few weeks ago. And hold on a minute. That is very close to an ace. So that's going to be a birdie for Schmelzel. Back on the 17th here in the final round. And Ryan O'Toole has this to get to five under par for the day. And nine under par for the championship. What a final round. Looking to land this just past front yardage. And that's a seven iron in the air. Pretty good line. Depends how it bounces. Oh, she carried that seven hard a long way. Wow. Chasing after it. And she'll have another attempt for Eagle. Back home in Florida. 15. This is the final group. And the second shot for Gabby Ruffles. Oh, yeah. It should come back a little bit towards the hole. Wonderful shot. Any break that is there is very subtle. This is all about tapping into the right speed. from her at least four and a half feet by the hole two straight bogeys was always going to be a challenge after that bounce back with a couple of birdies on the front nine and of course missed that really short putt at 12 Without making double there that's a good save just a moment ago Ronin Yin Incredible to think on this green yesterday. She Charlie did drive it in the bunker on this hole. So this is now to save par. She's been doing that this week, leaving the flag in uh, with all these triple on 18. Now struggling to get back up the leaderboard. 15. Yeah, Gabby Ruffles with the birdie. So she's not out of it yet. She's no. three back, got three to play. The next hole is going to be crucial for Gabby. She's a That's a big one. And Nelly heads to the par 3 17th, up by two. Yeah, needs to put something on the green here. Rolling a putt for Eagle. She did it on Friday. And that's going to release over the back of this green. In a similar place to where Nelly was. Seen how firm this green is. How's this one gonna land? Oh! oh. I nearly dunked it. Porta's terrific back nine. Jasmine Suwanapura struggling at the 18th. This for par. <laughs> Not struggling anymore. That's a hard earned round of 70. Still with a par attempt. This is a big shot for Ryan O'Toole. Two back and a chance to post and then wait. Tell me. Tell me. Yeah, you heard her say the wind 
ate that up. On a day like today, there's so much that's out of your control. My goodness, look at Ryan O'Toole, one shot back, but one foot in the bunker, one out, here's her third. Yeah, just very awkward shot, having to hit it so far. This feels like a must make if Ryan O'Toole is going to win for par at 18. Wow! Ryan O'Toole saves par and may have saved her chances to win. Caught it a little bit heavy, but the chunk and run, sometimes you can get away with that out of the bunker. Don't counteract as much each other as much as you would think, but it's it's difficult mentally to commit. Let's see if she can dial it in. It's a great attempt. This has been a very impressive comeback for Gabby after a double bogey at nine. Ideal line is a, a tent down there in the distance. She's taking it right of that, but it'll be just fine. She hit that solid. Yeah, that's in a perfect spot right there, just up the right side. Yeah, she doesn't want a mulligan, does she? Allison Lee. Okay, seven under. Got the wind howling off the left. Can't feel it quite as much while standing on this tee. But it will catch it once it gets in the air. Oh, it did. On to the front part of the green. Pretty well struck. She is a terrific young player already in her second at 18. Going with the same club she hit at the last hole, eight iron. I think this is plenty of club. Launching it, like it high with a little draw. Yeah, just like you called it, Kay. Plenty of club. Maybe a little bit too much. They were talking in before. She's laying. Look at how flat that club face is. Club shaft. Yeah, caught that. She was thin. She might have towed she that one a little bit. She was trying everything she could to get that club under the ball. She is putting slightly uphill towards the clubhouse. Oh. Atop the clubhouse lead. Now Gabby ruffles. And she'll have a chance to join them at nine under. Well, she's a fighter. And this to finish with a bogey. Tied with Ryan O'Toole. Self in contention on the weekend. Good showing by the USC Trojan. And here's another one. Gabby Ruffles needs a birdie to tie. And who knows? We've seen a little bit of everything this week. So no guarantee of a playoff. If Gabby holds this, she wins. They know what has happened up ahead of them. They may have had the opportunity to watch Nelly take three from what she got on this green. shot she'll remember that 12th hole she went over the green and three putted after pitching it on she'll have the option to play next week in Phoenix as great as she is she's not a member currently of the LPGA tour with all those wins 
with a top 10 finish even for non-members these days. I think she needs to lean on her close friend Megan Kang a bit. What a way to end. There you go. There's a lot of similarities with what Meg what Allison's doing to what we saw from Megan Kang constantly knocking on the door. Very surprised that she left that one short. Had a share of the lead going to the ninth hole. Made double bogey, but fought on. Keep it tight down the right side. And we know Ryan has some power. This one a little right of where she would have liked. Now needs a good bounce here. Looks like it landed, maybe caught a bit of tree there, Tom. Settled. Yeah, that ball of Rano Tools did hit the right pine trees and dropped down in the right rough. Nellie took it a little right of the um, right side of the fairway the first time, but this going into the left rough, but that is a far better location than her opponent. Let's try and get something to land a couple yards on this green. Pretty good line if it gets up there. Oh, took a big bounce, didn't it? That's a beauty. Uh, spectacular, uh, like Tom said. Hey, but I think on this angle and the way the wind is blowing mostly cross right now, this should be good. Launch that very high in the air. <laughs> oh, is this any good? Two great ones from the rough. Perfect place to putt from, nearly straight up the hill. How did it miss? Wow, that looks like that was for sure going to fall. Win number 10 for Nelly Corda. And one of the LPGA's A-listers gets it done in L.A.